but we can't get those things on our own. Raul helped build this organization with the understanding that the diversity of this community, as distinct as the Bogodas of the Bronx, as beautiful as the blossoms of Miami, and as unique as the breakfast tacos here in San Antonio. <laughs> is your strength. Mmm. Yeah, breakfast tacos. Let me remind you all of <laughs> what I got banned uh, from Twitter for saying. And, and, and remind you all that I do not care that they do not like that I said it. Jill Biden is an entitled cunt, and very possibly a vindictive moron. So is Hunter. And that is the subject of today's video, The Bidens! Um, yeah, I thought I'd start off strong. Bogodaz. <laughs> she can't, so, okay, I caught some flack. The, the day like not much and most of the responses were positive but I caught some flack for having the audacity to defend bodegas now why would I do that well because I grew up in like a below poverty area um, and I've been below poverty my whole life and I'm used to shopping at like small businesses like that bodegas aren't a bad thing. Um, and when I came here to Spokane, they are some of the best things because I can go there for really good prices on some somewhat niche stuff that helps extend things and save me money. And that gives me a more unique, diverse, and breakfast taco-y life. Um... Most notably, like the, the, the local Asian store here, um, I, I'm, I'm like on really good terms with the people there because of how much I go there. And like, we, we regularly joke about the amount of MSG I consume because I'm somewhat out of it. Like, <laughs> she's, she's a little concerned with the amount that I consume. But the point is that, yeah, it's not pronounced Bogoda. But this is what happens when you have an entitled cunt and a vindictive moron reading from a teleprompter. That's what you get. Uh, you get somebody who compares an entire group of people to breakfast tacos to discuss how diverse they are and can't pronounce bodega because she's never heard or said it. Somebody wrote that for her, and she read it. Lippy lap it up, Jill. Hmm? But that's not the primary focus of today's video. Today's video's primary focus is the Hunter Leaks. Now, uh, I stayed up a little bit too late last night and uh, had some difficulty sleeping because of some of the stuff I saw. But, like, ultimately... The uh, leaks that came from 4chan are fucking great, you know? Like, th there's a lot there. You know, there's a lot. Um, and I don't have time to cover it all. So I figured I would hit some highlights. Um, and I figured a good way to start off this video would be by saying the thing that got me suspended on Twitter for hate speech. Because it's not hate speech to call Jill Biden an entitled cunt or a vindictive moron. That's not hate speech. It didn't violate their policies. Um, and even the most bootlickiest of bootlickers still haven't been able to prove to me that it does. So I just decided to come out against this guy because, you know, he came at me. So I might as well show you all that too. But like, uh... That post was Twitter's fault. 
this guy just immediately came in and caped for it because I went against his fucking, like, chosen few. Um, and I'll continue doing that. Um, because I was lied about. I didn't commit hate speech by saying what I said. I didn't commit hate speech at all. Um, you know, maybe the term hate speech has been so fucking diluted to include fucking talking shit about fucking politicians! But, you know, this isn't about the ban either. You know, I just, I thought it would be funny to bring that back up because the subject of the Bidens came up again. And, you know, Jill Biden is a vindictive moron and an entitled cunt. So, with all that being said, um, because, you know, like, I haven't been banned anywhere other than Twitter for using language like that. It was actually fucking hilarious once when I did get banned from Twitter, um, because I, I went, um, like, I went against this person who called me a moron by calling him an idiot. I got banned and he didn't. This guy posted, like, a long series of racist, uh, fascist cartoons, uh, in the style of Stone Toss and Red Panels, but, like, worse, um, and less well-drawn, if you can believe that. Um, and he went on to later, like, get banned frequently from Twitter after posting yet more pro-Nazi, yet more pro-Nazi, yet more pro-Nazi, yet more pro-Nazi pro material. And eventually, I think he gave up, but I don't know. Maybe he's back. Um, but the point is that, like, I got banned for that. Um, but, but, you know, Hunter gets to keep his account after calling her that. You know, that's totally fine, because it didn't happen on the platform. Sure, whatever. I don't, doesn't, doesn't, like, the, the ultimate point of this uh, fucking segment here is that this family is massively corrupt. So I thought I would go over some of that corruption. And uh, let's start with this one. Um, the uh, leaks from his iPhone included information about corruption where he <laughs> um, transported prostitutes um, and was sending money uh, with with suspicious activity flags in his bank account uh, for whore services, uh, partially related to Ukraine. I fucking wonder why. Um, and then I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this off while I scroll because there's literal nudity uh, in this fucking exchange here. But like, uh, yeah, the <laughs> look at this shit uh, here. Look at this. He, he fucking, he called her my dear. That's what got my accounts frozen and reviewed by bank. Send me Julia and I will give her the cash. He's just like... <laughs> Human trafficking special agent caught. <laughs> this is the son of the president. <laughs> Human trafficking special agent contacted oh it's too good it's too fucking good <laughs> it's just you know maybe these people aren't the people we should be looking to for our conception of justice maybe that's the problem right like this is just daily mail this isn't the worst fucking like thing ever right i just i just i just think that maybe I wasn't wrong about the Biden family, and that maybe my repeated and persistent criticisms of the Biden family aren't too unfounded. Now, that's there. Um, here's the suspicious activity report in question. You can read that if you want to pause. Um, and... <laughs> Here's, here's, like, pics to confirm that it was indeed him we're talking about, um, and details about the suspicious activity report, um, 
right here. Hey, Hunter. He's smoldering in front of the camera. Who has better facial hair and head hair? Let me know in the comments. Um, but basically, yeah, this was his iPhone that got compromised. This is all just confirmatory evidence. And so he's over here doing this. You can see that, like, if you look at the link that, like, all these pictures are here. I'm not going to show too many of too, too many of them here on, on the fucking stream. But, like, <laughs> he disguised them as medical services. No, I'm just ordering prostitutes and crack for my health, I promise! <laughs> it's the most transparent bullshit ever. And this is the son. The son of the president who wrote a crime bill that hyper-prosecuted crack in the inner cities! He's part of the reason Mike Bloomberg got to go into black and brown communities and throw them against the wall for drugs and guns. Just like Mike Bloomberg said you should do. Mike Bloomberg is a racist, fascist piece of shit with many more times the net worth of Donald Trump. And his money regularly funds Democrats like the Biden campaign and consistently, consistently surrounds by corruption. Huh? Huh. Maybe we shouldn't be listening to these people for our advice on justice. Maybe the conception of justice from a statist context is, like, illogical? Hmm. I wonder. I wonder if that could be the case. Here's a funny video that somebody posted, put on my headphones, uh, in, order to, in order to watch this here. A funny video that somebody posted. I, I think it's great. Um. What's going on? There's so much porn. Well, what the hell are you doing looking at my private shit? What are you talking about? Private shit, Johnny. It was wide open. There were literally thousands of files here. Well, I've been meaning to clear some of that out. She <laughs> it's so good. It's all so good because it's like this is just yet more coming out to confirm that the rich and powerful can get away with whatever the fuck they want. They could just do, say, participate in whatever they want. There's more to that video. You can go follow them if you want. But like ultimately, yeah, that's the um, that's the, that's about it. There's just a shit ton of porn. And, and like I'm not going to show that because I don't want to get demonetized or banned from YouTube. But, like, yeah, there's just a lot of porn. And then there's this kind of thing where he was arguing with a hooker about, like, how much crack was involved in a transaction. Wait, wait out the bag. 2.07 without the bag. 2.07. Hi, Hunter. We see you with the hookers. We see you with the crack. We see you with uh, the illegal gun you waved around. Uh, we see you. We see you breaking the law! He was under the cover of Secret Service most of his life. And that's what helped him get away with this. Is that he was under the cover of Secret Service... Constantly getting protection from daddy and Jill. He he was in a fucking isolation tank, sensory deprivation chamber thing, smoking crack and drinking after the Biden family gave him $20,000 to go to rehab! This is the family that helped lock up a shit ton of poor people for the same offense. This is the family that claimed to be tough on crime. Well, apparently just not when it's his fucking kid. And then after a bunch of these allegations were going to be made public, Biden starts to soften his fucking stance on drugs like crack and say, hey, maybe I should have a more progressive fucking... <laughs> 
I'm gonna show you something here. This is fucking funny. You should laugh! Um, because it'll help you avoid being too enraged. Um, look, I wrote this. Joe wrote a crime bill which polices people like Hunter. If Biden's bill would lock up a Biden and, and instead that Biden is protected, it's not about doing what's right. But this family is sacred. The laws aren't for them. Drugs, guns, not for you, parole. Back to work now. I also said that Hunter Biden is even being exposed by people of 4chan for storing evidence of his crimes in the cloud, which they leaked. It should be clear how these headlines line up with each other and why the president is doing a 180 on his life-destroying laws. Nepotism, yo. Here's some headlines. How an elderly Biden, or sorry, early Biden crime bill created the sentencing disparity for crack and cocaine trafficking. Oh, ha lock up the, the SOBs, uh, Joe Biden, and the era of mass incarceration. He now plays down his role overhauling crime laws with segregationist senators in the 80s and 90s. That portrayal today is at odds with his actions and rhetoric back then, though. Mm, Biden urges leniency for harsh crack sentences fueled by his crime bill. That was 2021. And then in 2021, not a month later, Hunter Biden on making his own crack, living with his dealer, and his family's efforts to keep him alive. Hmm? Hmm? See, this is why I stay clean and sober. This is why I'm all about fitness instead of um, instead of relying on the government for your health advice. Because maybe these people aren't very healthy themselves, and they're massive fucking hypocrites with comorbidities who shouldn't be in charge of anybody else's fucking health or crime or drug policy. Or gun policy. Anything. This is evil. But does Hunter get consequences? Does Hunter get a red flag warrant to search his apartments? Or his houses? Or his hotels? His roomsies? Nosies he doesn't sees. He just gets away with it. And people wonder why I'm so fucking angry. It might be because we live under a fascist regime which protects its own at the expense of the common person and constantly strengthens the divide between those who have and those who don't in an effort to keep us polarized against each other so that we don't recognize the structural flaws within the system that fundamentally enslave us and force us all onto their fucking program that they call Building Back Better, A New Normal, and Great Reset because they don't want to call it 1984! Welcome to Oceania. Welcome to the brave new world. Welcome to The Running Man, the book, not the terrible movie. I'll write a scathing review at some point, like, I, I need to. You know, The Hunger Games, all these fucking, like, tyrannical dystopias. It's fine when you talk about them as a movie. Oh, yeah, I feel so bad for those characters. Those characters went through something strong. We should stop that before it gets that bad. Just get out there and vote. We gotta vote Democrat. We gotta vote Republican. Pick a team so that we can go do the thing that uh, the elites say we can to stop them. Because they're gonna sacrifice all their power because we asked nicely and wrote down things on pieces of paper or ticked off boxes and computers. That's how this is gonna work. No, it's not how this is gonna work. This is going to end in rivers of blood and years of darkness and a fiery apocalypse, the likes of which will make Revelation look like a children's story. That's how this is going to end. We're already getting the mark of the beast in the terms of the ID2020 and CBDC, and that's coming. And these are the people in charge telling you that you need your privacy violated because clearly they use theirs so well.
I just thought I'd remind people who we're dealing with here. I think the leaks are a good way to do that. I don't endorse hacking. No, sir, I don't. Ah, oh, just the notion of having something taken from somebody's private life. It really eats at my soul, especially if they're the son of a president who was partially responsible for the Patriot Act and constantly takes credit for it. Mm, it just eats me up inside. Mm, so terrible. Don't do it. Don't hack. Those 4chan people are evil for doing so. I'm indignant. I'm righteously indignant. I'll tell you. I'm so indignant. But within all seriousness, this is why you shouldn't trust anyone who tells you that they have the right government solution. Because prohibition not only doesn't work, but it's almost always a cover for those who want to use the laws to get around the laws and be the only ones who get to do certain actions. It's almost like it's a cartelization. It's almost like it's a monopoly on force. It's almost like it's evil. It's almost like the fundamental problem is government, and it doesn't matter whether the guy's wearing a red, blue, tied, yellow, fucking... Ah, uh, doesn't matter. What matters is that the power shouldn't fundamentally fucking exist! But it does, doesn't it? And we're dealing with the aftermath. It's a brace, because there's a lot more content coming. I've been Jeremiah Harding. Smash the fucking state.